Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Friday. We begin with the police involved shooting that sent one man to the hospital in Miami. Officers were responding to the call of a man acting erratically at a home in the area of Northwest 7th Court and 58th Street. Police say he was holding something in his hands and refused to follow commands. Officers deployed their taser twice before at least one of them shot the man several times. That man was rushed to Ryder Trauma Center in serious condition. Breaking overnight, Fort Lauderdale police investigating a shooting that appears to have turned deadly. We're waiting for confirmation from investigators on this. They responded just before 10 o'clock last night to the 1300 block of Chateau Park Drive, just north of Sunrise Boulevard and east of I-95. Our news crew spotted two bodies in a yard there, one covered by yellow tarp, typically indicative of a fatality, and another body right by that that was uncovered and not moving. We've reached out to police. For more details, we're waiting for a response. The mayor's office issuing a lease termination notice to the Miami Sea Aquarium. The county had given the Dolphin Company, which owns Miami Sea Aquarium, 45 days to fix its structural violations in November. Some of the violations, including a dolphin, a dolphin that was found with two-inch nail in its throat. County officials say these structural issues not only create a risk for animals, but visitors as well. The Miami Sea Aquarium has until Monday to respond. A deputy involved shooting, leaving two Broward County transit workers dead. The shooting happening Wednesday night at a bus maintenance facility on West Copens Road in Pompano Beach. Staff members tell us an argument between two mechanics escalated one open fire, killing his co-worker. Detectives say that suspect fired at responding deputies who then shot and killed him. Three deputies have been placed on administrative assignment as the FDLE investigates. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.